We just learned about delirium, a part of mentation in the age-friendly care approach. Mentation is a big word that mostly means mind or mental health. In this video, we're going to focus on work-related mentation because developing skills that can help us prevent and recover from stress are important for our health and well-being. You make a big difference in delivering age-friendly care. And you matter too. We all want to be our best when it matters most in our lives, both at work and at home. The reality is that we live in a fast-paced world where we believe that if we're not stressed, we're just not working hard enough. But what if we could change that? What if instead of normalizing work-related stress, you could use stress to help you perform better in all areas of your life? You can learn resilient skills that can help you manage and recover from stress in a healthier way. Resilience involves learning how to reframe stress as an opportunity to grow. Recognizing the symptoms of stress you experience on a regular basis and how they affect you physically, emotionally, or mentally is the first step to developing a plan to improve your overall resilience. To start, identify the types of stress you experience, including both the intensity or frequency of stress. It's important to recognize your typical stress response while it's happening. Your stress response can include physical reactions such as muscle tension or aches, digestive problems, sleep problems, fatigue, and high blood pressure. Mental and emotional stress reactions can include crying easily, low self-esteem, anxiety, and difficulty concentrating. Behavioral reactions to stress can include arguing with others, losing interest in favorite activities, driving recklessly, and using substances such as drugs or alcohol. When you recognize a stress reaction, you can practice resilience by stopping, taking a breath, observing your surroundings and stress triggers, and mindfully moving forward. Mindfulness means maintaining awareness of your thoughts, feelings, body sensations, and surrounding environments through a gentle, nurturing, and non-judgmental lens. Mindfulness is acceptance of our thoughts and experiences without judgment. When we practice mindfulness, our thoughts tune into our present moment rather than reliving the past or imagining the future. Remember, resilience is a skill that anyone can build through practicing mindfulness and other stress management techniques such as intentional recovery and mindset skills. Intentional recovery is another strategy that can help prevent and manage stress. You can make time for intentional recovery by scheduling five minutes in between tasks or meeting to gather your thought and mentally prepare, using physical activity like going for a walk to recover or renew your emotional state, writing down five things that you are grateful for at the end of each day, closing your eyes and taking a deep breath before you walk into a stressful situation, listening to your favorite song to improve your mood. Your mindset is a set of beliefs that shape how you make sense of the world and yourself. Your mindset influences how you think, feel, and behave, and you have the power to change and improve your mindset. You can practice mindset skills to improve stress management by labeling your typical response to stressors and pushing yourself to think of different ways to interpret these stressors using visualization to focus on more positive ways to respond to and interpret stress, identifying stressors and reminding yourself that you have choices about how you respond to them, perceive, and interpret them, training your inner voice to be more positive and supportive when it comes to managing stress. Remember that saying, I can handle this, is a powerful statement that can help you respond to stress in a more positive way. Developing resilience takes time and practice. Acquiring resilience is a gift you can give yourself to support your health and well-being during stressful situations and events. Remember our motto, what is good for the resident is also good for daily caregivers. Residents are unlikely to get high quality care if the person caring for them, you, their daily caregiver, is stressed, 
burdened, and feeling frustrated throughout the day. It's important to find ways to prevent and recover from stress to maintain your own health and well-being.